Now it came to pass that Giant Despair told his wife of his catch and asked her counsel on what to do with them. She then told him that upon his next visit he should beat them without mercy. Hark! I hear a key in outer door. Tis probably more of despair. Does they hear me name? Ring through these hallowed halls. Good evening to thee, me boys. Good evening, your highness. I have talked to me wife about thee. And did she recommend mercy? Mercy? <laughs> See this? The cudgel. I a fine crab apple tree stock. My dear wife, bless her gentle heart, advise me that I should use this club to beat thee thus. <laughs> Take that name. Oh, 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 please stop, sir. Nay, never shall you be food for the alligators and piranhas in my moat. And so he fell upon them without an ounce of mercy, till they were so sore they could neither help themselves or turn themselves over. Then he, being quite exhausted by his labors, did take his leave with a promise to return with more of the same. Then did they mourn and lament under their distress, but there was nothing more they could do. Now, when the giant's wife, Diffidence, learned that they were still alive, she advised Giant Despair that he should counsel them to do away with themselves. Oh, brother hopeful, is it day or night? I cannot tell. Oh, how long have we lain thus? I cannot tell. Oh no, he comes again. Perhaps to set us free. Hopeful be thy name, and against all reason, hopeful be thy mind. But he might. Despair will never set us free. What? Still alive, are ye? Yes, by God's grace. Ye must not speak that name. Take that! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I have counseled again with my dear wife. Bless her gentle soul. Well, don't she want to know her good counsels? No. What? Insult my wife, will ye? Take that. Oh, oh, oh. And you? Don't she want to know her good counsels? Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. Being nosy, are ye? Take that! Oh! Oh, please have mercy, gentle king. I told thee I be not gentle. I am a tyrant of the worst sort. I have no mercy, no, no mercy, show no mercy. Therefore, take that! Oh! Take that. Oh, oh, oh! Now then, do ye wishes to know her good counsel? As you deem it best, your highness. And you? As you deem it best, your highness. Her good counsel to thee is this. Since I be of such an evil temper, and since I know no mercy, nor show no mercy, and since almost none have escaped from my castle of doubt, and since it is near impossible that ye shall either, her counsel is that you use what are they? I have brought for thee a vial with deadly poison, a knife sharp and long, and a noose for the neck. What for? Why, for to do with thyself away, of course. Kill ourselves? Of course. For why should you choose to live on, seeing life is attended with such bitterness, especially in the dungeon of despair? <laughs> We would rather be set free. Free? Do you dare to speak of freedom from doubt? I will slay thee for that. Take that. With that, the giant looked ugly upon them and rushed upon them to make an end of them himself. 
But in the providence of God, the clouds of that country did part for a moment, and a ray of sunshine did find its way into the dungeon. This caused the giant to fall into one of those fits that do attend him when the light breaks forth. And so, being unable to continue in his intentions, he locked the door and withdrew. I shall return. You will find it a more pleasant death if you do away with yourselves. For if I have to do it for thee, <laughs> it could take days.